Hiya, welcome to Tales Beyond the Grave and welcome back to another video and we're here in Weiss Cemetery in Salford and we're here today to tell you about a forgotten about Manchester United player who pulled a shirt on for United and also pulled a shirt on internationally for Ireland and why is he buried here in Weiss Cemetery? Well we're going to tell you now So this is a story of David Byrne born in Thorncastle Street, Ringsend, Dublin in Ireland on the 28th of August 1905 now David joined Shamrock Rovers in 1926 and also he'd signed for Manchester United in 1933 along with fellow Irishman Billy Bean. Now the pair of them were the first Southern Irish player to play for United in over a decade. And David won his uh, three senior Irish caps going on his debut on the 20th of April 1929 in a 4-0 win over Belgium at Dalymount Park. He then played against Spain in 1931 and his last cap as a Coleraine player was in a World Cup qualifier again against Belgium in February 1934. He was top scorer in the league with 17 goals when Shamrock Rovers went unbeaten winning their third league title. He was top scorer the following season and in his second spell there in 1929-1930 and 1930-31 he was also top scorer again. He also won four uh, Football Association of Ireland Cup medals in a row and he totally scored 85 goals and 13 FIA goals uh, for Shamrock Rovers and he's their sixth highest goal scorer of all time and he's also the first League of Ireland player to reach 100 goals. Now David only stood five foot five and he was uh, a powerful force in attack, known as the scourge of goalkeepers and he constantly harassed them into mistakes. His speciality was stealing the ball while the goalkeeper was bouncing it. Uh, and his nickname, um, his nickname was Babby. And he was called Babby because he was the youngest of 11 children. So he joined United in 1933 and scored on his debut. And he scored a total of three goals in only four appearances for Manchester United. Uh, he play, also played for Shelbourne, Coleraine, Glentoran, Larne, Bridville, Manchester United, Bradford City and Sheffield United too in a career, football career. So how did David become to be buried here in Wee Cemetery in Salford, um, so many miles away from his birthplace in Dublin in Ireland? Well, it was a chance meeting in a pub. There used to be a pub at the end of this uh, road uh, call a Royal Oak but it was nicknamed the Widow's Rest as um, many uh, people had uh, the wakes in there after the funeral so it was a, a pub known locally as the Widow's Rest. So David um, is buried in a grave I'll take you to shortly and he's buried with a family he stayed with uh, when he came over from Ireland and he stayed with them until um, he passed away and um, <clears throat> He became known as um, Uncle David, and it was Ted Williams, a friend uh, with Ted Williams, who went in the Widder's pub, and he got by chance talking to David, and um, while talking to him, he heard his story, and um, he realised he got nowhere to live. So um, Ted bought him a couple of pints, and he says, "You're coming back to stay with us," and uh, he stayed there until. Um, till he died really and he, he be, was befriended by the family of Ted and was known as Uncle David so who knows um, what would have become of David we don't know um, if he hadn't met Ch uh, Ted by chance that evening in the pub and like I say Ted befriended him took him on went to live in a street just down the road called Nelson Street which is uh, been built up on now but they moved from Nelson Street to Smyrna Street and Smyrna Street is still uh, there and I can show you Smyrna Street um, where David lived out his final days. So we come to the story of why David's buried here in uh, Wee Cemetery in Salford, far away from Dublin, his roots. Now, on the day of uh, David's funeral took place, um, Ted's stepdaughter uh, was talking to the undertaker and she was telling her about her Uncle David who um, played for United. He played international football for Ireland. 
and the undertaker was uh, absolutely amazed by this he said i can't believe you know this guy has gone unrecognized as an international footballer and an ex-united player and what the undertaker did was to contact manchester united directly he told them about david's um playing for united david's international career and said this, this is an ex-united player who's going to be buried in a grave uh, far away from home and with that the uh, manchester united directors were intrigued by david's story and they researched a bit of him and they said what we'll do is we as he is an ex manchester united player we will pay for his headstone here in Wee cemetery and there was the the pay for his um headstone and they also bought his irish international caps and uh, they display them now in the museum at manchester united so david's not gone forgotten as i said this was uh, the story of a forgotten manchester united player in the eyes of manchester united he's not forgotten in the eyes of me he's not forgotten because until about two weeks ago i never knew david existed and i'm just glad that i can bring this story back to life of david and anyone who's pulled a shirt on for uh, manchester united or pull a shirt on for internationally for ireland deserves to be reckoned recognized and uh, that's what we're doing here today we're just going to take you i'm just going to take you over now to david's grave to show you where his final resting place is so we're just approaching david's grave now and i'm going to show you where the final resting place of the ex manchester united and ireland international footballer david Byrne is and is there there's something about a united player uh, really and until two weeks ago um i'd never had the uh, i never knew of david's existence until i walked by here one day and i saw the name man united on the grave and that is the final resting place of david Byrne. and like i say he's he's not he's now not forgotten he's buried here in wee cemetery in salford not just too far from where he actually lived with ted and as you can see on the grave is Darren Blackburn that Ed or Edward as you can see was Ted to Ted Williams and that was his grandson Edward Williams granddad of the above and then at the bottom we've got and David Byrne ex-footballer for Man United and Ireland died 17 for the 5th 1998 84 and I've, I've it's sort of like I've found this grave by just walking past it and seeing the red and white flowers on it and went over to it and saw the name uh, Manchester United on it so it just intrigued me and I've really really um, had a good research of the last two weeks and this is the story I found of David Byrne for you and I hope you I hope you come and visit his grave it's not too far to, to find if you come towards the back of the cemetery we're just where that blue building is there and we're just over here. All what's left to say uh, by the side of David's grave is um, from a Manchester United fan. We thank you for pulling on that shirt of uh, United and Ireland and scoring them three goals in four appearances. Who knows um, how many you could have gone on to score for United, but three goals in four appearances was a fantastic achievement. And I want to say thanks for the memories, David. And um, I hope you rest in peace. Now as I come away from the grave, um, like I say, uh, up until two weeks ago, I, I didn't know of David's existence um, until a chance I walked by, past his grave uh, one day. Now, um, and then I, I got into the research bit where I researched his life uh, and what's on um, the internet really about David. And I want to say a big thank you to Debbie Lowe, who contact me, contacted me through Facebook. And Debbie, um, was telling me that she lived next door to David in uh, Nelson Street and Smyrna Street um, when she was growing up and like he was known as Uncle David and um, she told me all about his story really and um, that he was an international player and played for United and it was fantastic that Debbie um, sort of like sparked me into going into a bit more detail research as well so thanks Debbie Lowe for that and as I say I hope um, Hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, this has been a good one for me because it's a United uh, player. Um, 
and I like to go and pay my respects to United players. But um, I'm going to say thanks very, very much for watching. Um, it's not a very a long video, but it's just one I wanted to record and put out there for other people to come and see and see David's grave, maybe put a flower on his grave um, at some point. But yeah, uh, this has been uh, Tales Beyond the Grave. And if you, you like our videos, give us a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you want. It's totally up to you. You don't have to subscribe. But it gives us the urge to go out and do more videos and um, bring you videos or interesting things uh, to YouTube. So um, stick with us if you like us, say yes. And if you subscribe, it's okay if you don't. But if you do, it's brilliant. It's a bonus. So I'll see you on to the next one. Now, the next one, I don't know where I'm going. But I'll let you know when I get there. So I'll see you then. Bye.